Welcome back to Artemelko Koga. We, uh... Which, wonder which way is forward. Uh, oh, can I go back to town now? Can I see what I missed up those stairs? Oh, hey, it's the world map. This is the only spot available to us. Boo. Okay. Off we go, then. Familiar encounter bar changing from blue to green to yellow to orange to red. Boop. So yeah, this, uh, this song that's playing right now is supposed to be Saki's actual song that I'm hearing. Okay. And as we get more, uh, more Raven Tales and more song matches, we'll actually get to hear the song change. Song magic attacks get really flashy in this game. Uh, um, um, flashy as in um, showy, oh. not not necessarily flashy as in flashing lights. Okay. I hope. Uh, hello, I'm not recovering HP. Oh, I, I am just very very slowly. <laughs> Adore, absolutely adore about Arno Surge is, oh, is that you can uh, charge up your song magic to clear multiple waves of enemies and empty the, empty the entire encounter bar in one battle. Whoa, what's going on? 
Yeah, combat looks different. It's trying to be Tails, but it's not nearly as elaborate as any Tails game. But it is still about the Vanguard holding off the enemies with their weak physical attacks so that the Raven Tails can charge up their strong AoE nukes. It still has that kind of flow to it, so I still enjoy it. Those bastards! This is not good. We're gonna search all over this place. Thank God as we left the village earlier. Yeah, but we won't be able to go back to the village for a while. Shit! And now we'll really never know what's up those stairs. Are you homesick? Of course not! Just thought well, Steeps might be worried about me. That's true. You should at least borrow a telemote and call him. Yeah, okay. fall off of every ledge. Plus 100 HP, plus 3 power resistance, I'll take it. So yeah, how are you supposed to know which- You can't fall off this ledge, so how are you supposed to know which ledges you can fall off and which you can't? Butter, eggs, cook, stays on for me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Kage is showing me a recipe. That's what Kage sits here and does when she's when we're traversing dungeons and she has nothing to do. Adderall draw. I should have sent that artwork I was working on to my email so I could pull it up on my Cause I still don't own a USB stick. <laughs> okay, there's the save point. Oh, do you need a USB stick? I mean, I don't own one. My my way of sending stuff to my tablet is to email it to myself. Yeah, I used to do that all the time in college when I didn't have Well, I had one, and then Izumi decided she wasn't going to pay attention to where her legs were going when she got off my bed at the old at my parents' house, and she hit it and bent it and broke it. Wow. And I lost a crap ton of MMD stuff. That sucks. God yes. damn it, easy. Me. <laughs> Not supposed to use your legs like that. If you want a USB stick, there's probably one lying around here somewhere. I'm fine for now. You could just use Google Drive, too. Yeah, I try to keep Drive empty of stuff that isn't, like, lines for projects. Because otherwise, I just take up too much room. Mm -hmm. Sammy's coming upstairs. Hi, Sammy! Come here! Oh, this is a chipper song. 
I'm so tired. We've been walking all day. Uh, are you alright, Otto? Do you want me to carry you on my back? No, no I'm alright, but... That might be pretty delicious. Delicious? Stop your silly combo right there. Come on, quick. We can rest in this house. Huh? Yeah, this Whose house is this? Does your acquaintance own it? Sort of. We can get some good rest and use the telephone. You want to call your boss, right? Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Thanks, Tats. You're a lifesaver. Baby. I have a Kit Kat. You are great, Tatsumi. Oh, yeah, I'm great. <laughs> or maybe that's like, I am great. <laughs> anyway, let's go. Hey, what's up, Steeps? Is this Otto? Yeah, sorry. I left work without asking you, and... Who the hell do you think you are? Who the hell told you you could leave early, idiot? What the hell are you doing? Sorry, I can't tell you much, but anyway, I can't come back for a while. I see! Steeps, can you please tell me what's going on over there? Are Clistanian soldiers still hanging around? Clistanians? No, they left already! There aren't any soldiers over here! Sorry. It's okay. The fact that she came up here on her own during waking hours is an improvement. Oh. I see. Thank you, Steeps. Yo, Otto! You alright? Yeah, so far. I'll try to come back as soon as possible. Bye, Steeps. Hey, wait a sec! Was your boss mad? Pout. He was furious. I'm sorry. This is all my fault. No worries. I can deal with him just fine. So what about the Clistanians? You said they've already retreated. That was fast. If they're heading this way, we better hurry. We have to stay alert. Yeah, Saki needs to see the doctor anyway. Let's head out to Eterna Chef. Uh-uh. Please? We can leave tomorrow. As for today... Is that? You may all stay here! You're... I'm just your average monk in training. It's been a while, Tatsumi. Yeah, long time no see, Abbott. Abbott. Indeed, here in the Great Fang region there is an archaic indigenous religion. For not being a people person, Tatsumi, you sure seem to know a lot of people. Shut it. In this harsh, barren climate, people believe that attaining enlightenment was their only path to eternal bliss. He's the abbot of a temple that used to take care of me. He's on his sojourn right now. Another monk of his order is my personal mentor, Reverend Genga. Ah, oh, I didn't know that. Excuse me, but doesn't it bother you that we barged into your house all of a sudden? My goodness, what an exceptionally beautiful lady! Because you only just noticed her? Huh? <laughs> Sammy! Well, this may be a small, old shack, but please make yourselves at home. There's no way the mic picked that up. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Alto is snoring soundly. That's one way to put it. We stayed up pretty late last night. He must have been really tired. He fought so hard just to protect me. But I couldn't help him at all. You don't need to worry about that. Hmm? I don't think this guy cares anything about that. 
He probably doesn't even think it's any trouble at all. Tatsumi! God, he's so... gullible. Maybe he's just reckless. <laughs> what? I'm sorry. It seems like you two are really good friends. Why is that? Huh? Aren't you? You're... weird. Huh? What's going on? Elto! She's... Soma! Er, oh, that was Saki, I think. Er, Tatsumi? That was Tatsumi. She's... Soma! Who's Soma? We got him away. What? I said we gotta run away! We can't beat her by ourselves! We can't! Tatsumi, do you know her? I wish I didn't. She's Glistania's deadliest soldier. What? What is a monster like her doing here? How am I supposed to know? Anyways, we don't stand a chance. We have to find a way to escape. Please? Saki? She ran away! <sighs> We're saved. Uh, huh? What happened? Saki, nothing is. Why is she talking to herself? Why is she talking to herself? What are you youngsters up to? Huh? What the hell happened here? Do you know how expensive it's going to be to replace this fucking window? Sorry we broke your fucking window. Abbott! Are you alright? The Clistanian assassin came to take our lives. What? Nothing happened to me and no one came inside. Yeah, well you weren't here for it. so I came to see what was going on. I'm sorry. We broke the window. That's fine. I mean, it's only a couple hundred whatever the fuck the money is. Leaf. Thank you. It's only a couple hundred leaf to fix. You know, my entire life savings. Um, I started the game with a hundred leaf. If, if a couple hundred is your entire life savings, then what the hell have you been doing with your life? I'm a monk! <laughs> I am a religious figure! I don't ask for payment for shit! <laughs> that couple hundred leaf was what the my father left me when he died! Most of that went to buying this house! How much was the house? A couple thousand leaf! <laughs> Which is all my father left me! I thought you said he left you the couple hundred. I said it was what was left of what my father left me! Open your ears, you idiot! Yeah, seriously, Aoto, open your ears. Saki can do that. It's fine, is anybody hurt? Uh-uh. We barely managed to survive, but... She didn't even leave a scratch. I'm just giving this monk an entire backstory. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad to hear that, but since the enemy knows where you are, this place is no longer safe. Like seriously, they're gonna come and kill me, and then my uh, the, the 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 people that I lead in prayer are gonna be really upset. And uh, I'd like to stay alive, thanks, because you know I could do good things if I was still alive. I, I, I know, I know, I know, okay? I know. We have to go, like, now, please. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, Gramps. We caused you nothing but trouble, and we can't even pay you back anytime soon. I mean, I only have a hundred... Wait, how much have I... How much have I been earning from battle? It's fine! I was going to leave this place to continue my sojourn anyway. I see. And sell it and get a... Double what I paid for it, you know? Thank you, La Lagertixa Bombada, for following us. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I butchered your name and I'm sorry. Leave the rest to me. You better set forth on your journey. All right, we will. Thanks, man. Thank you for everything. Well, time to find somebody to sell this house to. <sighs> anyway, we all survived. Yes, I'm so glad! When Soma saw Saki say her prayers, she just bolted all of a sudden. Is there any relation between Soma's sudden flight and Saki's prayer? Saki's prayer brings me a lot of energy from the planet. Maybe she noticed it? From the planet? I thought you said it came from the goddess. <laughs> uh... Is this Pokemon? That's a Clostanian Guardian! Are you sure? It looks like a Pokemon. No, it's a Clostanian Guardian! I'm I... sorry, but the beginning of that music. Oh. <laughs> Did Soma leave us this nasty souvenir? Ugh, we should have kept our guard. It even looks like it's coming out of a Pokedex. This sounds like the battle music from Pokemon Red and Blue! <laughs> Auto, this is seriously not good. If it gets off a signal, Clostania will know right where we are. We have to take it out before it can do that. But it's pretty tough, you know. We'll have to use powerful song magic. The night wouldn't be cool if you were the best, but we'll have to depend on Saki this time. Saki will do her best. I'll, I'll get a lot of energy from the planet and defeat that guardian. This monster is completely immune to physical attacks. You have to use song magic or elemental attacks to damage it. In such cases, stripping a Ravitail, known as a purge, is extremely effective. The more skin she exposes, the more power she gets. Yes, seriously. And Kage is just done. I quit. There is a certain condition that must be met to execute a purge. Her heart must grow to a certain size. And now she's the Grinch. <laughs> Saki's small heart grew three sizes that day. For that to happen, the vanguards must raise her excitement level by attacking enemies when the waves on the harmograph are high. When the purge ready message shows up, hold down L1, L2, R1, and or R2 and shake the controller at the same time. <laughs> well, this game has made me quit. I hope you have fun! <laughs> Bye, Travis. At first, you can only purge one level at a time, but as your bond with the hero strengthens, you'll be able to perform more advanced purges. Once you purge, her heart will shrink back to normal size. Please grow it again by fighting rhythmically. Like, seriously, at least the first two games were subtle! <laughs> well, they really wanted to show off those 3D models. He who controls stripping controls the battle. Build a great relationship with the heroine and lead the party to victory. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why did you pick this game? Why didn't I pick this game? Ugh. I'm face palming too, Travis. <laughs> Looks like it's coming out of a Pokedex. <laughs> oh, there we go. No, it didn't. Be thankful it didn't actually show the movie that time. But, notice how fast the first stage is rising now. Oh! Okay, so much for that. Sucky. We survived, but... Why did you take your clothes off again? I can't. <laughs> I can't do this. 
Don't give up, Kage. It's only one more game. Because I get more power from the planet. Because that makes sense. The more skin a raven tail shows, the more power her, s oh, her songs get. What the fuck? Come on, we've played um, half of Knights of Azure. Not on the stream! <laughs> Look, I know we're an adult show, but I'd like to retain some sense of dignity. Um, I have no dignity. I'm sorry, this is who I am. I hope not, and nobody in my family is watching this. <laughs> I hope everybody in my family is like this. <laughs> oh god. I'm so glad Mindy's planning to come on a s- Oh, please, Mindy, come on a Sunday. Do not come on a Saturday. Mir and Shirley if, are being more- If your sister comes on a Saturday, we're not playing this. Fuck yeah, we're playing this. We're not playing this in front of your sister! <laughs> my sister's an adult. <laughs> Mir and Shirelia being more powerful because they wore leotards makes more sense now. When your sister comes from playing Mario Party. <laughs> <laughs> we could play Jackbox. We could do that too. But of course it's embarrassing, so I can only take off so much clothing. Anyway, thanks to Saki pulling her bra strap I mean, bootstraps. And we're able to cling to life again. <sighs> Should be fine, as long as you don't get any impure thoughts, Auto. What? I don't have any impure thoughts! Really? Well, <clears throat> it's a little hard not to stare at them, but... body than it'll be to beat those monsters. Anyway, it's good that we didn't get killed, and that's all thanks to Saki. Aoto, you have to take this more seriously. Eh? You're underestimating how dangerous this is. I think you need to learn a lesson from this experience. Huh? You didn't see this surprise attack coming either, did you? Uh, excuse me. Please don't fight! What? No, we were just... We weren't fighting. <laughs> Alright, through the cave. Oh, that didn't take long. This looks like a precarious path. Um... What's wrong, Alto? I thought I sent somebody walking up there. Huh? You're just saying that to scare Saki. No matter how much you scare her, she's not going to take off more clothes. No, I'm serious! Let's take a look up! Tsundere voice. Oh. Someone! Please help! What? I'd like to get down now! A girl. It's an emergency! That's Saki. It's an emergency! Hey, hey are you alright? Please get me down from here, you idiot! I have to save her somehow! Um, hey, I, I don't want to get involved in any more trouble. Thank you, and please, please and thank you. What? How can we just ignore her? He's right, we have to go save her! Yeah! Ugh, I am so done. Well, you can just stay there while we figure something out, I guess. Oh dear, hold on. Yeah, that's why I 
switched it to hard, because otherwise battles end before you even get to use any song magic. Top time. Saki, are you there? Uh, Alto! Did you come to talk with me? Stripping is risky. By the way, to get some power you have to strip off clothes, right? Like to get more power? Y yes. The more clothes I take off, the more power I'll be given by the goddess. Is it the goddess or the planet? Both. I see. Maybe we should bring a hot water bottle with us. Why? On a cold day when it's windy, if you take your clothes off, you can catch a cold. Or get a stomach ache. You don't need to worry about that. The more clothes I take off, the more embarrassed I'll get and the hotter my body will get. Um, did you just say something really suggestive? They could be wrong. to figure this out. Hey! Are you alright? No, I'm not! I'm about to fall! She's over there! Alto! Let me handle this. I've worked from all kinds of heights. I don't even consider this a clip. You're fucking crazy! Hey! I'll be right there to get you! Hang tight! All right. Alto, watch out! We. All right, I got you. You did it! <sighs> well, I'm relieved. <sighs> Uh, I'm alive! You did it, Alto! That was impressive! What? Really? Yes, I'm so impressed! <laughs> anyway, you. Why were you up on that cliff? Uh, well, that's... I was just going for a walk, and then I got lost. Huh? W what? Nothing. I'm Saki, and you are... Oh, and where do you live? I'm Finnell. I'm... I live in Eternus Shaft. Eternus Shaft? That's where we're going! Why don't we tag along with her? That's a good idea, right, Alto? Uh, sure. I don't see why not. Yes. I'm glad because I never met a girl around my age before. What? Where have you been living? Uh... Please be my friend! Oh, of course! Nice to meet you, Saki. <laughs> I'm happy now. Good for you, Saki. Yes! Oh, yeah! Do you mind if I call you Philidin from now on? Why? Philidin! Philidin? Yes, Philidin! Isn't that such a cute and fabulous name? Uh, I don't know what to say. <laughs> That's a perfect name for you. It matches your clumsiness so well. Cl what do you mean? 
mean by clumsy? You climbed up there by yourself and couldn't get back down. You were stuck there. That's called being clumsy. Cl you said it again! Alto, it's not nice to call someone clumsy. Saki. Fit it in. <laughs> Finnegan isn't clumsy at all. She just lacks a little grace and can be careless sometimes. I like how she's careful to always say it with the musical note. Finnegan. <laughs> Saki, that's not making me feel any better. <laughs> it may really is the best fit for you. Finnegan. Ugh, you're so mean. Don't make fun of me. Actually, can you just stop calling me Finnegan? Uh, okay, then what about Philly? Look. We saved her, right? Can we go now? Uh, 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 what's wrong? What was that? That was really pretty. Is it an accessory or something? Uh, yes it is, but I have to put it away now because it's very precious. He knows! Alright, we're going to Eternity Shaft, right? This place is full of monsters, so let's get going. Oh, Philly, wait! Please wait! It's dangerous to go by yourself! Uh... Hey, cats. Aren't you being a little cold to us? When we were about to save her, you seemed pretty reluctant. Uh, it's just the way I am. Besides, I've got sort of an ugly feeling about this. What? You'd ignore someone in trouble just because you're getting an ugly feeling? You're a little too gullible. <laughs> Weirdo. Fennel Axe Forged Clustania. She's Yoko de Bistro's mascot girl. She's pretty clumsy. I am not clumsy! And makes people nervous with her reckless actions. She's a typical tsundere who hates the fact that she's so stubborn. Her cheerfulness is good for a waitress, but she's too frank to be a good salesperson. She can be childish and gets really serious and competitive when it comes to any kind of competition. She loves cold treats like ice cream and snow cones, but because she's always so careless, she always gets brain freeze. I wonder if we can uh, put her in the party, use her song magic. Sounds like Finn. I'm coming in, okay? Sure. Sorry for barging in on you this late at night. What happened? Well, I figured I hadn't thanked you for I hadn't thanked you properly for helping me out. What's with the weird face? Mm -hmm. Oh that? Don't worry about it. Still, I put you in danger. 
Not really. I am a steeplejack, you know. I've worked in higher and more dangerous places than that. It was nothing. What? You work in more dangerous places than that? Like, all the time? Yeah, it is kind of brutal. Steeps, my boss, is a real hard ass. Construction on the edge of a steep cliff is common. Once I had to work on an overhang, like a rock climber. What? Auto, are you for real? That's awesome! <laughs> it's really, really not. Well, I guess it does take a certain type to do the job. I'm not sure you can do it. Well, no thanks. I pass anyway. But thanks again for saving me. I just wanted to say that. You know, I think you're silly. At first, I figured you were just a violent jack, but after that- Violent jack? Jerk, I can't read. I figured you were just a violent jerk, but after today, I've changed my mind. A violent jerk? Really? Hey, Alto, if it's fine with you, I think we should talk at night again. Are you asking me or telling me? Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, I'm going to bed. Good night. Yeah, sleep well. Yep, same to you. Okay. How about Philly? I didn't know Philly was such a good athlete. Phil? Why do you say that? Because she climbed pretty high. That would be impossible for me. Well, I don't think so. A real athlete can get herself down from where she had climbed up to. It's more like she's just a tomboy who doesn't know her own limits. Or a thoughtless child. I think she's energetic. She's so cute, I think it's a good thing. Uh, I guess what you're saying may be true, but... Besides, Saki is a little jealous of Philly. I want to be a girl like her, who can climb up to such a high place all by herself. I don't know about that. Her spunk lasted until she... If her spunk at least lasted until she got down by herself, that would be a different story. Let's talk to Phil. Phil, I'm coming in. Oh! Alto, what's up? You want to talk with me? And again, we get to hear the, uh, two different talk topic themes between the girls. I always loved the contrast between the two songs so much, no matter what the game, no matter what the songs, no matter what the girls' personalities, I just, like, I just really like hearing the way that each song punctuates the girl it's for, kind of, you know? Mm -hmm. What are you doing? Hey, uh... Do you hate heights? N not necessarily. I don't think they're scary. Then why couldn't you get down by yourself? If you weren't scared, you could have helped yourself, right? Th that's... Why were you shaking so bad? It's not that I hate heights. I just can't walk along such thin paths. Oh, well, I understand what you mean. There were hardly any... There were hardly any room for my... There were? Or I think that should be their words. There was hardly any room for my feet on that cliff. Standing there, I felt like I was going to be inhaled by the ground way, by the, by the ground way below. I kind of understand what you're saying. I felt the same when I first started this job. But then you shouldn't go to such a place by yourself. It wasn't by choice. Huh? Subdued. It wasn't by choice. Mm -hmm. Did you say something? No, I didn't say anything. It's unique. Also, your weapons are pretty unique. I feel awkward to admit this, but yeah, they are. Oh, just wait until you see Coconut. <laughs> I mean, who uses a crab claw sword? Real swords, claws. It's like a fruit parfait of weapons. Oh, that's <laughs> a... <laughs> What? He needs, like, something new with me. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a gross way to put it, but I see what you mean. But because of the variety, I can use my weapon for many different situations. Maybe, but... If anything, it's a little heavy. It's the only problem. I think you may want to consider changing weapons. Okay. Let's cut this episode off here and keep going next time. 
wonder what's going to happen next. It's been seven years, so I seriously don't remember. Hey guys! Do you like our content? Do you want to support the show? Click the link in the description below to visit our donation page. All proceeds go towards new and better equipment and games you want to see us play. Everyone who donates will get a special shout out at the end of future videos, and we're currently working on setting up some special perks for you. If you don't want to donate, that's okay too. You can support us by subscribing and clicking that bell icon so you get notified whenever we put out a new video. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching today. If you've had enough sugary harem anime bullshit, click the box on the right for Pastaween 2018. If you can't get enough sugary harem anime bullshit, you're my kind of viewer. Click the box on the left for more Artinelica. Till next time.